Treasure Hunter here. I am down at my sweet little beach and I am getting ready to do a garden test with my brand new CZ21 Quicksilver. Now, I have named her Silver Slayer. Look at that. Fisher was kind enough to make the box big enough for my sticker. Nice. Anyway, I've named this machine Silver Slayer because when I did some test gardening yesterday, it killed on the silver. It was amazing. It kills on the coins, it kills on gold rings. It's a deep machine. I love it. So let's get to the test garden. Let's take a look at my beach. They're doing some uh, construction over here at the Toya Port. It's the port right next to my house. Surfers are coming in. That must mean that the tide is going down so the reef is getting more exposed, which becomes dangerous. So there you go. Okay, you guys, we are gonna start out in coin mode. Now this is a factory mode that comes set on your machine. We're gonna use a clad quarter, a clad dime, a silver dime, a copper penny, and a zinc penny. So let's go over to the machine and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Out of the box, factory settings, you've got your volume, discriminate, sensitivity, and ground balance. And so you can set it for coin shooting right out of the box. You just look for these red circled numbers and this is set up for US coin shooting and I'll show you what I mean about that in a minute too. So there's your four, ground balance at five. We're gonna put uh, sensitivity to three and we're gonna turn on the machine and put the volume at five. And I'll get over here and we'll start the test. Okay, you guys, here is our first target. It is a US clad quarter. Can you hear that? Nice, strong signal. Okay, here's our US clad dime. Nice, strong signal. Okay, here's our US silver dime. Nice, strong signal. Here's our copper penny. Here is our zinc penny. There you go. Okay, you guys, I am going to do a depth test on the quarter. So let's uh, take two good scoops of sand out. Guys, let's take uh, this, it's at least an eight inch hole. Let's put the quarter down in. We'll cover it back up. And let's see how we can hear it. All right, you guys, that's eight inches down. That's a US quarter. That's pretty good. Pretty good sounding. I hope you could hear you guys, that. Let's put the dime in the same hole, about eight inches down. And I'm hearing it just fine. Okay, you guys, I think we've got a winner here. I'm not gonna test the rest, the nickel and the Penny because they're bigger than the dime. We already know that the dime and the quarter work great. So let's. All right, you guys, we are going to take a look at this 14 karat gold men's bracelet, 14 karat gold pendant with diamonds, 14 karat gold men's wedding ring, 14 karat gold women's mother's ring, very petite. This was given to me by my friend, uh, Gary's Metal Detecting. Make sure you check out his channel. He found this in California, Metal Detecting. We are gonna check out this ceramic ring with gold onk. Now, I, don't, I can't test that gold. So I don't know if that is like a form of stainless steel or if it's actually gold. So we're gonna test that and see how that rings up. Then I've got this itty bitty tiny gold diamond earring that I found on the beach. 
We'll see that. We've got this gold 999 pure silver coin 2018 from Tuvalu with cherub. And it's got a 14 karat gold bale. And then this fine gold hoop earring. So that's 14 karat gold, really tiny. Let's just see how. Okay, you guys, here we go. We've got this uh, chain men's gold bracelet, 14 karat gold set up. It's in a straight line. Not very likely you would ever find it in a straight line, but let's see. Okay, I've got my volume set on 10 because I want to make sure that you guys hear this stuff. I have it on auto tune for discrimination. I have it on sensitivity 10 and I have it on ground balance five. Let me just make sure that's kind of on five. And we are hearing that like a pro. Here's that gold, 14 karat gold pendant with uh, Mary on it and diamonds. Boy, we're really hearing that. Here's the men's gold wedding band, 14 karat gold. We're hearing that screaming. Here's the petite 14 karat gold women's mother's ring. Here we go, filled with stones. Screaming signal, all right. Here is that ceramic ring. So the, the base ring is ceramic and it has a gold toned onk in it. That's just the design. Okay, let's listen. It sounds a little bit different. So I'm wondering if that's maybe stainless steel. Okay, here's that tiny diamond earring. I don't know if you can see it. Let's go over it. Okay, it is a whisper of a sound. I mean, in my ear, with the headphones on properly, I can hear it just fine. Um, but it's definitely a lighter sound, and it is a tiny, tiny earring. Okay, here's that gold coin. Let's take a look. Woo! Boy, it blew my ears off. Okay, here's that gold hoop earring. Let's hear it. Okay, again, that is just a whisper of a sound. I hope you can hear it. Okay, so here's a little tip. You always want to wear headphones. I don't care if you have excellent hearing, okay? If you aren't wearing headphones, you cannot listen for that whisper of a sound. And you're gonna miss out on something amazing. I mean, that is a little tiny gold hoop earring. Probably doesn't have a whole lot of melt value, but it does have, you know, it's more than any coin you're gonna find on the beach. So, you guys, listen to the mermaid. Wear headphones, get a good pair of headphones, wear your headphones. These come actually with the machine. So, and they are permanently attached. This is primarily a water machine that goes 250 feet deep. And so they don't want you to wreck the machine in any way. You know, they don't want you to flood the casing at all. And so it is a non-removable headphone. Let's take that gold ring and let's take one scoop out of the ground men's gold ring one scoop out of the ground and let's bury it okay okay so let's bury the ring right there and cover it up pack it down a little And here we go, you guys, fingers crossed. Oh, I can hear it, no problem. Okay. Let's get a scoop on that. Let's, let's do two scoops. Let's see how it does with two scoops. Okay, we've got it in the scoop. Let's try pinpoint, shall we? Right there. Hey, all right, got it in one scoop. Nice, I, maybe I'll stop chasing stuff around you guys. What do you think about that? <laughs> now I won't have to edit that out. I'll just be able to find things on one, uh, one pinpoint. Let me take it out of pinpoint. Pinpoint is very easy to use, I like that. Okay, there's our second scoop out. Let me grab my, well, I don't think I have it. I was going to say, let me grab my pinpointer and measure, but I don't have it. Let's see. Let's do one more scoop just for fun. And 
it's uh, past my wrist, so it's right about here. Let's put it in. We can hear it just barely on an air test. Let's put it to the ground test. All right, there we go. Yeah, I can still hear it. No problem. I don't know how many inches that is. That's at least eight inches, maybe 10. Okay, let's get that baby out. Let's see how deep we can go with it. How's that? Oh boy. Let's do the pinpoint again. Did we get it? We got it. Awesome. I'm loving this. I am loving the pinpoint. And there it is. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do, uh, let's just go for it. Let's, <laughs> let's go deep. I'm starting to get some white shells. So it tells me that I'm kind of down to the base. See the white shells? Kind of down to the base. And let me flip this over. And that is about right there. How deep is that? That's, I don't know, 14 inches maybe, 15 inches. Ooh, let's try it. Let's try it. Air test. I can barely, barely hear just a whisper. Let's see what it's like when we put the sand on it. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. If I was out hunting, I don't know that I would necessarily hear that sound. It's definitely a break in the sound. It's definitely a break in the sound, but uh, let's put it on boost. Put it on 10. Oh yeah. Now I can absolutely hear it on boost. Boy, that's a nice feature. So if you're looking for deep gold, my suggestion would be run it on boost. Boost that baby up. I ran it on 10 boost. So let's get this out before I forget that I buried it. <laughs> Cause you know, I get to talking and then I forget what I'm doing. Still down there. All right, I am loving this machine Woo. okay did I get it I got it all right whoops I got too close to the silver boy <laughs> it's hearing everything now in this boost mode or actually I don't have it in boost I have it in uh, sensitivity 10 let's put it back down to sensitivity 5 Okay, so you guys, the rings were successful. Petite gold rings, successful. You guys, I was setting up for silver and I completely forgot about this men's 14 karat white gold ring. I found that right here on this beach. Actually, I found it out in the water uh, when I was hunting one day out in the water. So here we go. Let's take a look at this. Let me turn my speaker around. Let's see if we can hear it. Woo! I don't know about you, but that just blew my ears out. So, Fisher CZ21, we're good on the gold. Okay, you guys, once again, I'm setting up for silver and I forgot that I put a platinum ring in the mix. That is a platinum ring. Let's see how it sounds. Here we go. Woo! That blows my eardrums out. All right. Split. So today we're gonna do a sterling silver men's chunky silver uh, bracelet from Gucci. This sweet little bracelet that, you know, is adjustable. So it's not a complete circle. Let's see how that rings up. Sterling silver earring from Tiffany's. A petite sterling silver women's ring. A chunky sterling silver men's ring. A little tiny sterling silver uh, earring peace pendant, religious medallion. 
Let's go. Let's start with the small stuff, shall we? Okay, I have it on volume seven because I know that this is a silver slayer and it's gonna just burst our eardrums. I have it on auto-tune. I have it on sensitivity seven. I probably could turn it down. Ground balance five. Let's see this little stuff. How does it, how does it work? I couldn't even find it, okay. Here's the little uh, screw earring. <laughs> I can hear it. It's a light sound. I don't have the volume up high. Here's the uh, cross. Very nice and loud. Here's the peace sign. Ooh, that's just a little tiny peace sign and it is so loud. Okay, here's the men's chunky silver ring. Here we go. Woo! Blows your eardrums out. Okay, here's the petite women's silver ring. Woo! Here's the Tiffany and Company sterling silver earring that is not a complete circle. You can still hear it nice and loud. Okay, here's that bracelet, the, the small bracelet with the stone in it that doesn't connect. Okay, that's a lighter signal. It is a very petite bracelet, but you can still hear it. Okay, you guys, you ready to have your eardrums blown out? <laughs> this is a chunky sterling silver men's Gucci bracelet. Here we go. Ooh, that hurts my ears. All right, I'm gonna set up the last of the jewelry. I'm gonna show it to you right here. This was a dream crusher. I found this the other day on my favorite beach. I thought it was yellow gold, white gold with 11 diamonds. The diamonds sparkled so beautifully in the sun when I pulled this ring out. There are no markings in it. I haven't tested the metal, but I'm pretty sure that it is a Chinese ring that is made of um, stainless steel. And then this really cute ring, I don't know if the camera's gonna show you or not. It has little, um, oh God, Roman numerals around it from one to 12, all the way around. I thought this was gonna be white gold or platinum when I pulled it out. It rang up, both of them rang up like gold. And, once again, no markings on the inside, none whatsoever. So I think that both of these are Chinese stainless steel. So we'll run those over. And then I also brought a titanium men's ring. So hopefully you can see that. It's a fancy ring. It's real pretty. Found it on the beach one day. All right, you guys, here's our final test. We are set on, I'm just going to put it on volume five. Auto-tune. We'll put it on zero discriminate. I, I think that auto-tune makes it go a little bit deeper. And then uh, I'll put it on sensitivity three and we're gonna keep it on five ground balance. Okay, that's just the factory setting. So let's see, here is that titanium ring. How does it sound? Okay, we can hear it. Now these are very low settings. If you want, you know, volume boost, you can see what that does. It just makes it louder in your ear. Okay, let's go to this China, Chinese stainless steel ring. <laughs> Gold dream crusher. <laughs> Here it is. Yep. Sounds like a ring. Here's the other stainless steel. I imagine it'll ring exactly the same way. Let's hear it. Yep. Exactly the same sound. So you guys. How is that for a test? Let's take these headphones off. I can barely hear myself, so I'm probably screaming at you. There we go. <laughs> Just out here on the beach enjoying the day. I will probably hunt my beach. You know, I hunt this little beach all the time. I find, I have found, I think, at least eight rings on this beach. But let me tell you what, I have pulled so much trash to get to those eight rings. So much trash, you can't believe it and there's still so much trash. It's a busy little beach. It's a fun little neighborhood beach. I highly recommend you come down and visit if you live here. Lots of parking, there's a playground, there's bathrooms. It's a really nice beach. Nice protected cove. Very fun to tide pool here when it's low tide. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I am in love with the Fisher CZ21. I'm in love with it. There's a reason why it's been around for so long. It's great technology. 
This machine goes deep. Let me give you one more tip. Let me just leave you with one more tip. If you hunt in pinpoint mode, your machine is gonna go even deeper. I was hunting yesterday and I dug up this little bobby pin that was like 20 inches down. I thought I was gonna die. It was so, so far down. And then all it was was a bobby pin. But you know, I have it on no discrimination right now just because I wanna figure out what everything sounds like. So there you go, you guys. Make your own test garden. It's not hard. You can figure out what you're looking for and how you want to set up your machine each time you want to go out. So I highly recommend it. And you know what I'm going to say. I will see you on the next hunt. Okay, you guys, you know how I like to play full house coin shoot, right? That's when you get all the coins, all the denominations of coins. So this is the prize. This is the prize of Japan. It's a $5 coin. It's worth $5 US. Really pretty. Japanese money is very pretty. So there it is. That's what we're looking for when we're out there every day is that $5 coin. Then, here's the 100 yen coin, also very pretty. This one's dirty because it was in the ground a long time and I ran it through the tumbler for a while that, you know, not everything came off yet. <laughs> so this is worth one US dollar, 100 yen. Then we've got the 50 cent piece. Very pretty, 50 cents, worth 50 US cents. Here's the 10 cent piece. This one happens to be 1979. So if you find any Japanese money and you wanna know what the age is, just send me a picture of the front and the back and I'll tell you what the age is. So 10 cents, five yen coin, that's worth five cents. And then the dreaded one yen coin. This is worse than a Zinken. Because they, this one's from 1991. They, uh, they corrode just like the Zincan does. Not as fast, because this is made of aluminum. They give off an amazing sound because they're aluminum and perfectly round. So let's keep it in the U.S. factory settings for coin shooting and see what, what you guys. There's the one yen coin. Nice strong signal. You would expect it to give a nice strong signal because it's aluminum you know it's aluminum and it's round here's the five yen coin nice strong signal there again you would expect it to give a nice strong signal because it's round <laughs> all of them i'm not going to say that again here's the 10 cent coin nice signal there's the 50 cent coin uh-oh i don't hear it I don't hear it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Here's the 100 yen coin, the $1 coin. I hear it. You can hear it just fine. Nice strong signal. Okay, here's the prize, the $5 coin. Uh-oh. What's the deal? I don't hear it at all. Uh, when I'm right, when I'm touching it or right over it, I get the overload signal. So it must not like it's um, what it's made out of. Okay, so like I said, here are the factory settings for US coin searching, okay? So uh, discrimination is on four, volume is on five, sensitivity is on three, uh, ground balance is on five, okay? So let's see if we hit pinpoint, which should give you deeper targets, let's see. Oh. Now we hear it just fine in pinpoint mode. Let's see if we can hear that 50 yen coin in pinpoint mode. Yep, we can hear it. Matter of fact, we can hear all of the coins in pinpoint mode. But let's say we don't wanna run in pinpoint mode the entire time that we are searching. So we're out of pinpoint mode. I don't hear that 500 yen coin. So let's just do this. Let's turn up the sensitivity to four and see what happens. Nothing, okay, five, 
Nothing. Okay. Six. Nothing. Okay. Seven. Nothing. All right. Eight sensitivity. Nothing. Okay. Nine sensitivity. Nothing. All right. Okay, 10 sensitivity, and we still aren't hearing that $5 coin. Okay, so let's put it back down to three sensitivity. And so three, got the volume on boost seven. Let's take discrimination down to three and see what happens, all right? There's that coin. So can you hear that? Can you hear that bell tone? You can hear like a beep beep, but then you can hear like a ringing telephone. Listen. I think you could hear that. It, it, that is telling you that it's giving the machine overload, that it's a large object that's uh, close to the machine and it's giving it an overload. It doesn't like the materials that this coin is made out of, which I think is cupro nickel, but I'll put it on the screen right here because I'm not sure right now. Okay, so my suggestion, if you are gonna hunt for Japanese coins, that you are gonna wanna set your discrimination. Okay, so I'm not hearing the five. I was gonna say the 50 cent, I was gonna say you wanna set your discrimination to three, but let's put it on two and see if we can pick up that 50 cent coin. Okay, there. Now we're picking up that 50 cent coin and we're still picking up the uh, $5 coin. Okay, so we're picking up all the coins in discrimination too. So if you are gonna be metal detecting with a CZ21 Quicksilver in Japan and you want to coin hunt, you're gonna wanna set your discrimination to two. You're gonna want, you can put your volume at five. You don't need it higher than that. You know, if you have a hard time hearing, then you're gonna maybe wanna put it up. But that's a, dis that's a volume at five, so not a problem. And then sensitivity three, ground balance five. Okay, you guys, this is all the foreign money that I have found on the beaches here in Okinawa, Japan. I've got two Hong Kong 20 cent pieces, one five cent Canadian, one 10 cent uh, Russian coin, one kroner, this is uh, uh, Norway, Norge. <laughs> so it says one krone, I, I don't, and then it has fives over here. So I would have to ask one of my Norwegian friends. Here is a five cent Euro from España. These are from Thailand. This one is, uh, I can't see it, how much, what the denomination is. That one's five. That one's two. This one must be one. From Thailand, okay. Uh, two 10 pence coins from Great Britain. This is from um, Banco Central Filipinas, so Philippines. One peso. These guys are from Taiwan. So 10 cents and one cent and five cent. So the Taiwan. These guys are Korean one. This is 100 Korean one. I think altogether this might be worth about, I don't know, less than a dollar. And then this is China, 500 somethings. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm just gonna run the machine over them just to show you what they sound like. Okay, you guys, so for this uh, coin demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and put it in U.S. coin mode. I'm going to see what coins hit, what coins don't, and then we'll figure out how to hit those coins in case you are using this machine in these countries. So the first coin down here, I got to get closer so I can see. This is the one from China. Nice big coin. Doesn't hear it in American coin mode. So let's turn it down to discrimination three. Doesn't hear it. Discrimination two, doesn't hear it. Discrimination one, okay. We can hear this coin from China in discrimination one. So if you are hunting in China, you might want to start out with 
discrimination one, but you know, your best bet is to do a test garden just like this with all the coins that you are searching for. Okay, our next coin, we're back at factory settings. Our next coin is that Hong Kong 20 cent piece. Okay, I don't hear it. Put it down to three. Don't hear it. Put it down to two. Don't hear it. Put it down to discrimination one. Okay, I can hear it. Okay, so same thing with Hong Kong. If you are searching for coins in Hong Kong, you wanna make sure that your discrimination is set no higher than one so that you can hear those coins. Okay, next coin here, let's do these guys right here. These coins are from Thailand. I have three different denominations, one, two, and five cents. So let's put it up on factory settings USA. Okay, I don't hear the first one, don't hear the second one. Oh, okay, I can hear that five cent coin just fine. Um, the one and two cent, you know, they're, they're the conversion rate. I can't remember what it is, but it's a lot. You know, you have to have a lot one, of one cent and two cent coins to get to a dollar. Um, you have to have a lot of five cent coins to get to a dollar. So um, we can hear that five cent coin in factory settings for USA. Let's see. I, oh, okay. I moved it down to three. I can hear that two cent coin. And I can still hear the course. I can hear the five cent coin. Let's move it down to two and see if we can hear this one cent coin. Okay, so at, at two, we can hear the one cent coin. So if you are in Thailand and you are searching for coins, you wanna make sure that your discrimination is set at two or less, okay? All right, this is the five cent Euro coin. We're back in factory settings for US and I do not hear that coin, okay? Well, let me tell you, I hear the Canada five cent coin. I can hear it just fine. I don't think we've done that one yet. Uh, so since I went over it and we can hear it, I just wanna make sure that you can search in factory settings with the CG, CZ21 in Canada for coins, but make sure you do your test garden because if there is a, this is just a five cent coin. If there's a higher coin, like the US uh, or Japanese uh, $5 coin that did not show up in this settings, you want to make sure you do that. Okay, here's the five cent euro from Espana. I didn't hear it in the uh, factory settings of four, discrimination four, but I do hear it in discrimination three. Okay. So you want to put at a, at a maximum, you want your discrimination on three if you're coin shooting in Spain. Okay, back to factory settings. Now we are in, uh, this is Taiwan. These three coins right here are Taiwan. I don't hear it. I do not hear the coins in the US factory settings. So let's put it down to discrimination three. Okay, I hear this smaller coin right here, which is one cent. Okay, so let's put it down to two. See if we get these other two coins. Okay, we do. Okay, we get the we get the one cent coin and the five cent coin on two, but we do not get that bigger 10 cent coin. So let's put it on discrimination one. And now we get that 10 cent coin. Okay, so if you're in Taiwan and you're using the CZ21, you wanna make sure that your discrimination isn't any higher than one if you wanna catch all the coins. Okay, let's go to Norway and let's take a look at that one crone coin right there I have it on US factory settings I cannot hear that coin oh yes I did I heard it one blip okay I can hear that coin just fine okay so you're okay with US factory settings for uh, Norway with that coin okay let's look at the 10 pence coin right here I am not hearing it on factory settings for the US so let's turn it down to three I do not hear it on discrimination three. Let's turn it down to two. I do not hear it at two. Let's turn it down to one. Okay, I can hear it now on one. So if you are in Great Britain, you wanna make sure that you do not discriminate any higher than one if you are searching for coins. Okay, this coin is 101 from Korea. Let's put it in US factory settings. I hear that coin just fine in US factory settings. Okay, 
back up to this guy. This is the Philippines. Let's see if we can hear this coin. We do not. We do not hear that in US factory settings. Let's turn it down to three. Nope. Two. Okay. I heard it at two. One blip. Let's, uh, I didn't hear it after that. So let's put it on one. Okay, I can hear it just fine on one. So if you are in the Philippines, using the Fisher CZ21 Quicksilver machine, you do not want to set your discrimination any higher than one if you are searching for coins.